Welcome back. Today, we're going to create a WebView in Jetpack Compose, a powerful way to load web pages directly within your Compose applications. Let's dive right in. Before we get started, remember to add the internet permission in your Android Manifest ZML file. Without this, your WebView won't be able to load any web pages. The next step is to create a view named folder, where we will make the WebView composable function. Here, we use localcontext.current to get the current context, and we define the URL we want to load using remember. Next, we retrieve the on back press dispatcher to handle the back button navigation for the web view. This allows us to make the web view go back to the previous page if it can. Here, we create a web view instance using Remember. We set up the layout parameters to fill the entire screen and enable JavaScript for the web view. The web view client ensures that clicks on links are handled within the web view itself. Finally, we call load URL to load our web page. To managing the back button behavior, we use disposable effect to register a call back for the back button. If the web view can navigate backward, it will. Otherwise, the back button behaves normally. When the composable is removed, we clean up by removing the callback.
Finally, we use Android View to render our web view inside the Compose UI. The modifier.fill max size ensures that the web view takes up the full screen. And that's it. Here's the web view in action. You can navigate through the web page, and the back button works as expected. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more Kotlin and Jetpack Compose tips.